Hey there, welcome to this episode. And today we are talking about pad linking, the pad link menu, and what we can do here. And pad linking essentially means that we can link one pad to another or to multiple pads. So when I press one pad here, it can trigger other pads at exactly the same time. Now you could use that for like layering drums as an example. If we have a kick drum and another kick drum, we want to layer those together and have them trigger at exactly the same time. We can link them inside of a pad link group. And when I press one sample, one pad, it's going to trigger off both of those kick drums at the same time. So it's really useful creatively, lots of things we can do. Now to access the menu, we want to do shift and pad seven where pad link is here. Let's do this. And if you've seen the mute group video, this looks very similar to mute groups. We've got A to J, so we have these 10 pad link groups that we can work with. And similar to the mute groups, as we select items in here, depending on the group that is selected, we'll get a different color so that it's easy to kind of identify what you're working with. So what I have here is a kick drum, a hi-hat, a snare, and two simple like horn stab things that we've got going on here. Let's say I wanted my kick drum here to start. And when this kick drum comes in, I want this horn stab here to play exactly the same time. I have now linked those two guys together inside of pad link group A. And I know that because they are both red. Now let's say I wanted to create another group. I can do say like B here. And I want now my snare drum to play, but I want my other horn sample to play at the same time as well. I can do that just like that. And as you flick through, you can see they light up nice and easy to identify what's within each bank and each, you know, pad link group even. So once we exit this, now when I press my samples here, this one is now going to trigger. And we can hear the kick drum and the horn sample at the same time. And now when I do this one, it's our snare drum and our other horn sample. So you can see creatively how that would be useful. And again, shift and pad seven, pad link to open up. You can come in and if you don't want something in here, it's simply a case of pressing it again and deselecting. And you just need to be on the right group to edit them. I could take these guys out of here. So very simple, but very effective. The only limitation is that you can only link up to four pads per pad link group. So if I stay on A here, I technically have like five samples. I can only link four of them. I can't link any more than that. So there is a maximum. And you see there's a little warning on there. So that's your only limitation to this mode. Very useful. Very cool. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.